Hey guys, okay, so we are going to um, set up Plesk on Vulture, okay, and let's see here, um, so step one, you need to have set your name servers to Vulture. Name server one, name server two. That's the first step. Here's the domain I'm using. We don't need $10, we can use $5, but okay, cloud compute, we want that. There's a check. Five dollars is fine. So we come over to Marketplace Apps. So here, don't click on More Info, just click on Select Version. And we want Web Admin SE. So you can make sure you've got Web Admin SE there. Check mark. So you don't have to do this, but I did this. Um, I've got an SSH key that will make it so I can log in without a password. It also makes it somewhat more secure. You don't need to do this in this step. You can skip this, okay, if you want. You don't have to do this, all right? And I'm not gonna go through right now how, you know, about public and private keys, etc. All right, so you might want to just skip that. Now, take our domain, stryadmin.com. Now I'm going to click deploy now. Um, I have some private uh, information on this screen, so I'm going to move it. So I'm clicking now, deploy now. Okay. So we can see we're installing, we're installing and we need to wait for that to finish because we're gonna need our IP address. We're going to need our IP address. Um, to configure everything, right? And so we're gonna have to wait just a moment. It'll, it'll only take a moment. Uh, so. Again, we, we can't add our domain without knowing our IP address. So we need to wait for that. And just to let you know, we're also going to install an SSL certificate on the control panel itself, okay? Which is very important. Um, all right, so it's finished. All right. So here is my new Plesk uh, instance, and we've got our IP address. Let's copy that, and we need to um, we need to come over and you need to come over here to click products then click dns click right here and then we're going to add our domain okay um 
I have already added my domain. Okay, you guys, I've already added it. But what you'll do is you'll take your IP address from right he from uh, right here. Okay, take your IP address from there. You're gonna come over. You're gonna add your domain. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it here. But then you would put it in there, right? Okay, so I've already set up my, I've already set up, uh, well, I set up part of it. All right, so here, there's the important part. We need an A record. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete this. Well, no, I'm not going to delete it. Here's these records. Um, well, can I delete that? Yeah, I could delete that record. All right, we'll do that. So we need to create an A record. Example, um, we can leave this blank or we can just do this. That represents the domain name itself, right? Spry admin. And now we put in our IP address and we add it, okay? So now all of these previously I need to change. We need to create an A record, right? And we want to put in webmail, put in webmail, and then our IP address. I need to change it. Okay. Click that. Now our www.spryadmin, we want to change that to Okay, now this stuff is left over from the last time, and I'm going to go through how to do that right now. All right, so long as we've got these IP addresses set, my old settings for the MX record um, is going to do just fine uh, pointing to Spry Admin. All right, and later if we were to use, uh, well, let, let's just stick with that. So we need to come over here and we're going to log in. The first time you log in, there'll be a security warning, but it's okay. We're going to fix all those security things later on. And when you first log into your panel, it's going to be root and we need to copy our password here. Okay advanced proceed to unsafe I'll accept that first time we're going to do root and I'm going to paste in that password my root password I just copied all right okay now let's do this let's make a new password we're going to change it yet again after we get our SSL certificate installed, okay? No, let's do this one, I remember. Okay, yeah. So let we don't need let's not do any of this stuff. Okay, let's get into our panel. Okay, now one thing I noticed is sometimes if you try to set up a domain too quickly, um it won't quite work. So let's just see here. You might see what I mean in just a moment. That's taking a little, that's taking longer than it should. I'm gonna do this way. I'll come over here. There are any of those. Okay. 
I'm gonna refresh it. Okay, mister. Oh, come on. All right, let's come over. We need to first make our domain. Register domain name. We already have it. Don't click here. Okay. This is all fine. Don't worry about that just yet. Add our domain. All right. Now the important stuff, let's come over to our SSL certificate. All right, install here. Now let's secure everything. All right, now here's the tricky bit, okay? We need to update this text record, right? So what we need to do is here is, if we're gonna add a text record, you need to copy this, okay? And we're gonna come over here. And here, I've already added one, and we're gonna change it. You would do this, well, I'll just add another one. I'm going to copy in there. Come over here. Now be very careful when you copy this because it has to be copied exactly. And if you have a space in there, it, it will fail. So let's make sure there's no space on the end. No space at the start. So it begins with, okay, Spry Admin, IYP. At this one but let's come down here and let's delete the old one um, I want to uh, delete that record okay now what's important now we've got this text record up there and to check it just to check to make sure you've got it there, you can come over and you could do uh, dig. And we can go. Um, This is a Acme challenge. Dot spry admin. So what this is doing, this is we are going to check just to make sure that we've got it in there. Okay, that's all right. And we come over here. Now we're going to reload it. Let's come down here and let's do this. Force SSL. Okay. Um, now, 
Let's do this over here. So now we can see that we've got our SSL certificate already on the domain, but that's not enough. We need to have that on our, um, our control panel itself, right? We don't want this. So we need to come over here to tools and settings and we come on down here and we're going to click on this one. Okay. For our plus server, we should, we should say the control panel really is what it should say is that is for the control panel. Now we're going to come in here. We're going to go panel dot spry admin. Okay. Now that's okay. That's okay. Because what we're going to do now, what we're going to do now, just a moment. Um, now you can see we want to log in at panel.spryadmin um, uh, colon 8443. All right, so uh, then you'll put in admin your password now. So um, so another user's already logged in, blah, blah, blah. And they're, what they're thinking of is over here, right? That's because I was still using that IP address. We don't want to do that anymore. So we're, we're inside now. Now you can change again your administrative password, okay? And so from now on, you want to change your admin password again. Um, because technically you've been you've been sending that over non-encrypted traffic, right? And over non-encrypted channels. So you, you, you want to change that again. So that should do it. And you get three domains, uh, quote unquote, for free with uh, Plesk at this um, using this product level or whatever you want to call it. Okay, have a good one, guys. Now again, remember this is the this is where you log in.